first unboxing and range test and I rode it quite a lot more actually after that. But then they brought out another board for it. So I was into a dilemma. Do I continue running the original board or should I swap it out? So I thought actually no one else who's thinking about buying this in the future is gonna have the original board because they're all swapped out now. Uh, so I swapped it out myself. So I had a later board in it. And of course that reset me to zero, didn't it? So I had to do it again. So now anyway, it's getting close to 300 kilometers. And talking about different versions of this. Oh. So, here we go. Uh, these are versions that we didn't really know about when we first bought them. They didn't mention them to us at all. That is Gotway. So we got the 84 volt 600 watt hour because that's sweet as a nut. It's about the nice spot. Um, but anyway, we asked for a full list. They've got the Nikola 650 watt hour 84 volt the Nikola 1300 watt hour, 84 volt. The Nikola 1600 watt hour, 84 volt. They have the Nikola 2100 watt hour, 84 volt. They have the Nikola 1230 watt hour, 100 volt. They have the Nikola 1845 watt hour, 100 volt. Uh, so yeah, and there has been talk of a 127 volt wheel Nikola. Uh, but when we asked them to confirm that, they said that there is not one coming out at 127 volts. The engineers cannot do it. Uh, so that isn't happening. We asked them to clarify that and they went through and said, no, no, it's not coming out. Um, so there we are. Well, 126 volt, I think it is actually. Looking at their reply there, but anyway, that's fine. But as you can see, there's a lot of models. So we won't be stocking those. So we stock the 84 volt, 1600 watt hours. We may in the future stock the uh, 100 volt 1845 watt hour, possibly, possibly. Um, but we're in no rush to do that. This will meet basically everyone's demands. It's a cracking wheel. Yeah, so that's the list. That's what we've got to deal with, that many models, which is just crazy for a stockist of these things. You can't stock all those wheels. Uh, unless anyone wants to send us a million pounds, then maybe we could do. But as it is, 84 volts, 600 watt hours, this is what I'm reporting back on, and this is, so far, is working out really, really well, so there's no need to get other models in. One thing to say about this wheel is it is pretty wide, uh, unusually so in the fact that it also hasn't got any side pads, and I think I referred to it as a bar of soap in the previous one, a bit like the 9.1 S2 in the fact it's just smooth, but a lot bigger, of course, because that's a much smaller machine, but it's very smooth. But I haven't actually had much problems gripping it. Because it's quite wide, being able to clamp down, hold it on the trails and things, so going over tree roots, through S-bends and dirt and gravel, I've actually held onto it and I have never come off this wheel yet. Still time, of course. Still open to do that, but I've never actually come off it at all. It has got slight marks on the body, which again is from a robot vacuum cleaner. Uh, and children who brush by it and knock it over and it falls over and slams into the ground. And so the marks have come from that um, and also been in the back of my car. It slid off the seat once when I slammed the brakes on and it hit my seat and then slid down between the footwell. So it has received marks more than when it got, came out of the box, basically. and But it hasn't gone on a total path of deterioration downwards and downwards. It's got to a certain point of being a bit rough and then it's just stayed the same. Uh, so that's quite good. Dust does stick to it. Very staticky sort of finish to it. So when I've been riding the trails, I've actually got dust over the sides now. Because I've been doing this and stroking it, it's actually cleaned it a little bit. But otherwise down here, you can see that it's got some dust gathered up dust on the rear of the handle, like I mentioned in the first review, but I don't use a trolley handle that much, so it hasn't really bothered me, but it is there, it does get dust, it kicks up. Uh, winter's not gonna be a problem, because it doesn't, mud doesn't throw up, it's just light dust that it kicks up, because it's such a beast of a machine, that actually, if you're traveling at speed, it flicks it up and it gets caught over the back along the trails in the summer. Did have the screws that were here and here, they were actually this side. Both those, this side, came undone. Not all the way, because they can't, because they're trapped. But they came undone, so I re-tightened those, and they haven't come loose since. So they can't have been tightened properly 
uh, out of the box, I guess. So they loosened off, tightened those up out on the field with a pen knife, and they haven't come loose ever since, so that's fine. Pickup handle has worked every single time, flawlessly, no issues there whatsoever. Again, there's that common thing, which is it's really, really wide. So carrying it, you can do it with one hand. I carry it with one hand, I've had no issues. We've got two flights of stairs here going up, so no issues there. Um, taking it apart, actually the way it was wired up was quite neat and tidy when I swapped the board over, as I mentioned earlier. So I got to have a look inside, which is very unusual. We don't usually open up a brand new wheel. We do it to a thousand kilometers without opening it up. But anyway, swapped it out. No issues there whatsoever. They changed the wiring just subtly on the new board. And actually the change makes it feel more like the M Super X now. So it feels the way it delivers its power and the way it rides feels like the power delivery of the M Super X. But obviously it's not quite as big a wheel. And it's a completely different clothing essentially is what this is. So it feels now like an M Super X in a different style. And it might be a style that a lot more of you prefer. It's less like a briefcase, suitcase, whatever you want to call the M Super X. Um, so the ride and feel I absolutely love, because as you all know, if you watch the videos, I really, really like the M Super X. It's a brilliant wheel, it's absolutely outstanding. I've had no issues with the foot plates at all on this model. People were complaining about it, the fact that it's gonna be slippy, but I haven't. So personally, my experience in this, in wet weather, in the mud, um, and things like that, no slippage on these, just stick to them. I'm using Skecher shoes for reference. The soles are fairly soft, don't know if that makes a difference but I haven't slipped off this, haven't found them wanting um, for grip. They just, they just work. And as I was saying, because of the width of the wheel, actually on the trails, it's not too bad. Uh, it's not like you get, it gets slips out from underneath you or anything like that. I've never had that happen. I thought I would. I went into it thinking, hit the trails on this. This is gonna be slipping around in between your legs. And I mentioned in the first video, you might need to put the side pads on. That definitely helps, but of course I've kept it as standard without the side pads that come in the box with it. Just left that as it is. And I haven't had any issues. So if you were to put those on, you'd get more grip, definitely. Um, but it hasn't been lacking. And I'm talk talking about grip between your legs to stop it sliding around. The tire has performed flawlessly. No issues there whatsoever. It grips, um, the, it doesn't worn out. It's got no signs of wearing out, so that'll probably last a long time. And on the off-road stuff, that nice big tire sidewall is perfect. So it absorbs, absorbs all the bumps. Um, so, and it grips to tarmac very well as well. So there's no tram lining going on. It just point, you point and shoot and it goes there. So from that point of view, it has been pretty outstanding really. Front light, fine. It's typical front light off a Gotway, off any electric unicycle, pretty much all the same. There are slight variations, but it, it works. It's a light, works at night. I've ridden it many times at night. Uh, the lights around the outside, you could turn those off. Depends what you're looking for. I actually really like them. I've come to, they've, they've grown on me on this wheel. And you go out on this and people really look at it and think, what on earth is that? And because it's a smoke finish on this outside panel, at night time, it just really glows. It looks brilliant, um, I think, anyway. It's a bit mad without having all those flashing lights, but I just think it looks brilliant on this machine. The fact that it shines through the whole thing, you can see all the internals in there, is a cool touch, I think. Uh, USB port on it, I don't use them, but you could if you wanted to. Charge times. Fine. It could do with being doubled up, really. They could do with having a twin charge port on these wheels, on these gotways with the big batteries. I think it's probably about time they actually did that. We do sell a splitter on our site, but of course you need each other two chargers and then a splitter. Um, King Song do the double ports uh, as standard, as factory fitted. So that would be a lot better, really, if you could just have the ports to plug in. But they've all worked fine. No issues whatsoever. Haven't come off it. It's performed with no issues. And in regard to the board, when I swapped it out, the ones we have swapped out have had no signs of anything actually wrong with them, but we swapped them out anyway for the later boards. So from that point of view, we haven't had any faults on the original boards. We have several customers that rode them with the original boards that we then swapped out um, after a considerable amount of mileage and they were fine as well. So yeah, that's come and gone, that issue with the board. Now the 84 volt, 1600 watt hour, as far as I can see, it's like the M Super X in the fact that it's more than enough. Everyone's wanting this 100 volt wheel, but this isn't lacking. It's like the M Super X, it's not lacking. And it feels so similar, but just in different clothes. It's the same, it's the same thing it feels. Slightly smaller wheel, so slightly more agile. So the acceleration and the braking, it pips it just slightly. But of course you don't get quite the same rugged tank 
like features on it. It's very, I don't know what it is. It's not, it's not even dainty because it does feel aggressive when you ride it. You can just keep leaning forward and it's, it's providing you all this power. But of course, if you do have an off, which I haven't had yet, it is going to get really scuffed up. If this hit gravel, you know, it is going to scuff up. So the answer to that is don't come off. Never have a fall, never have an accident. Don't have anything untoward happen to you and you'll be fine. Um, so that's really all I've got to say on it. It works fine. There's no issues. It's always a short one between the unboxing and the 250. We'll find out a lot more about this in the 650 kilometer video review. So it's definitely worthwhile subscribing and keeping an eye on the videos. You need to hit the bell notification with this new fangled way of things YouTube's got doing things. It's, you don't get notified when you get a new video. So go and click the bell notification, click all, then you get our live show and then you get new uploads straight to your inbox. So go and do that if you haven't done it. Go to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and then sign up for all. Should be good. Go and follow us on Instagram, speedy underscore feet. Go there for sure for behind the scenes photos and what we're getting up to basically. Um, and Twitter and a Facebook page, YouTube. Go to all of them and follow them. And I'll be back with the 650, but so far, a quick note would be, I really, really like this wheel. It puts me in mind of the M Super X. And when I'm on this, I have no qualms about riding this and I have been riding on the trails and everywhere and I really like it. The only question mark for me is if I come off this, I'm gonna smash its face in, which I'd rather not do. But otherwise, that's my only thing at the moment. It has been performing flawlessly. So I will see you on the 650 kilometer review of the Nikola 84 volt, 1,600 watt hours.